Hey everyone, Tony Dragon here. Alright, let's be real quick about this because I'm missing out on a lot of videos that I want to do reactions to. Um, I, I do want to set up some rules about some reactions. Some people have already done some requests. And movie trailers are a given. That's easy enough. Game trailers are a given. Trailer and of anything, given. Uh, a re for TV shows, I would do them, but they wouldn't be on YouTube. So, uh, be ready to have to look uh, somewhere else on a different website. I'm currently looking at which one is best, but it'll probably happen sometime. I don't know when. I'll let you guys know when that happens. Uh, also, in order to better you know, streamline you know, requests, if you do have them, uh, you can just leave them in the comments below the video that you're watching, or I have a new Twitter account or a Gmail. I'll leave the links to those below. Um, that's mostly focused exact, exactly on the channel, so you can just leave the recommendations there. I won't really be using the Twitter for updating people on anything. It's mostly just going to be like, you know, what things are going on, just like what reaction I just did or what new trailers came out, that sort of thing. Uh, and really, I, I've missed a lot of these videos, and I want to get started real, right now. Uh, first one is Beauty and the Beast. Um... This is one, the next line, the next one in a long line of future Disney reimaginings, so to speak, live action reimaginings. And I'm not the biggest fan. I don't, I, I don't say they shouldn't do it. Go ahead, do it. Um, but I, I'm fine with the ones that we have already. I mean, they're called classics for a reason. Uh, I heard a lot of people did like the new Cinderella. Uh, however, some of them are saying Cinderella is the first of this reimagining. And I asked them, like, did you forget about Maleficent? That's technically a Sleeping Beauty reimagining, but they focus on Maleficent because they realized she was the most interesting character of throughout the whole movie. Um, and Maleficent was not that great. I heard Cinderella was a lot better, but it's still kind of 50-50 with whether or not it's better than the original Cinderella. Now for Beauty and the Beast. I do know that... Uh, Beauty or Belle is going to be played by, uh, what, 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 oh my god, how am I forgetting her name, the girl who played Hermione, ah, uh, I'm still blanking out on her name, Jesus Christ, Emma Watson, I am so ashamed of myself, Emma Watson, wow, can't believe I forgot that, um, I do know that she's, that Belle's played by Emma Watson, uh, but Beauty and the Beast is one of the best Disney movies out there, I mean, for God's sakes, it was nominated for an Oscar, it was one of the first animated movies to ever be nominated, it was the first, animated movie to be nominated for an Oscar that is amazing and while it didn't win I don't even know who won so I know more about Beauty and the Beast being nominated than the, uh, the movie that actually won that year you know that just shows you that whatever movie won that year didn't deserve it uh, but anyway let's see this trailer Okay. Wow. All right. Oh, okay. Are we ready? Are we ready? Yep. All right. It's just a teaser trailer, but who knows? We might get a good glimpse of the beast. Maybe not. I don't know. All right. Let's just start this. Three, two, one. I see the castle. So far the set design looks good. Hey, 
Okay, he's been turned to a beast already. Look, a girl. Yes, I can see it's a girl, you fool. What if she is the one? Is that supposed to be Lumiere? Hello, Bell. I'll be our guest, huh? Mm. So next year, March next year. Okay. All right. Other good. Um, right off the bat, the voices for Lumiere and Cogsworth. It's gonna be hard to not be biased going into this movie because I grew up with uh, Beauty and the Beast. So, their voices are just going to sound weird to me throughout the whole movie. Maybe I'll be able to get over it, because the story itself will be, you know, well-written. But, for right now, just by the trailer alone, the voices are a little weird. Uh, I can see, you know, Emma Watson playing Belle. I mean, she's a, she's a very beautiful woman. Um, uh, but, obviously, the thing that really caught my eye is the set uh, design. It looks amazing. Obviously, the castle is... You can tell it's kind of CGI, but it's probably an unfinished product. Um, but the actual inside looks amazing. It's just dreary, but at the same time majestic. You can see that it used to be a beautiful castle, but it's been you know, run down by this curse. You know, Not just the people inside of it, but the castle itself has turned into... a beastly looking location, like a dungeon less than a... You know, uh, a, a royal location um, but yeah this was this is a great teaser it really gets me you know excited for an actual trailer where we get to see the beast uh, the beast is probably gonna be the big deciding factor for a lot of people because the beast uh, appearance in the original was iconic there's no beating it and it's gonna be really hard for people to actually like the new beast for this uh, reimagining if it doesn't live up to that expectation. If they give us too much of a human uh, face with, with, the, with the body of a beast, it looks weird. If they give us too much of a beastly face with a very humanistic body, it's going to be really weird. They have to give us a full-on beast. And hopefully it's not going to be completely CGI because that'll really... R that that won't really impress anyone, at least not me personally. I want there to be a practical effect and maybe a little CGI around the fur. Just kind of give us a glimpse of the hair moving uh, against the wind. That'd be pretty cool. But a practical effect can do that as just as well. So hopefully it's going to be mostly practical effect for the beast. Uh, to give us indication that he's actually there. And we're going to see some emotion from his face. And the actor won't have too much trouble doing that with all the makeup if it is, if they're going for a practical effect. Um, but all in all, this teaser was great. Uh, it gets me excited for an actual trailer. Again, uh, I really need to see the effects for the character for the other characters other than Belle and the Beast. Definitely the Beast. So those two factors will be, you know, what makes me help helps me decide whether I really am excited for this movie or not. So we'll see. Um, Anyway, I don't know any other trailer I can do, so, I don't know, uh, there's some, a few, there's a few that seem to be popping up, but no one's really doing reactions of, but who knows. So, next time I see you guys, it'll probably be for another big movie trailer, or maybe you guys can throw a recommendation my way of another movie you want to see, you want me to see, react, do reactions of, uh, like I said, leave them in the comments below, or go to my, to the channel's Twitter, or the Gmail, I'll leave your recommendations there. Uh, hopefully I can get to them. So next, until next time, guys, I'm Tony Dragon. Bye-bye.